Today on the show, we are talking wellness with some students from the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School and with the Brain Rehab Clinic. Dr. John Hatch is going to tell us all about functional neurology and the aging brain. And we got this guy. Speaking of aging brains. No. Todd Summers is here, my fave. We have so many fun things planned for you. Don't go anywhere because it all starts right now. Here we go. everybody, welcome. Again, I'm Holly Love and this is Todd Summers. Todd, Hi everybody. thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Um, my mom loves it. Really? If anything. <laughs> everybody loves it, but my mom is like, I just love seeing you and Todd all back together. So Todd and I, if you don't know, have a history. I got my start at KJAZZ TV from Mr. Todd Summers. He was the first producer that I auditioned for and I got the part. And you blew everybody away. Oh, that's so what good. he has to say because no, we're I don't. friends. I had my... I hadn't hit puberty yet. Oh. We, Sylvia actually found some of our old stuff really? from the back in the old days, and she started playing it because we were trying to put together a mashup for some of the uh -huh. stuff we were doing with our talking movie segment, oh, which you'll oh, find yeah, on yeah. YouTube and watch for us. Um, I, I mean, what happened? I, I didn't start smoking or anything. <laughs> it's like maybe it's just the air quality, or yeah. I just hit that like I became Catherine. You know, not Hepburn, the other one. Oh, Weiss. yeah. Kathleen I learned, Turner. Kathleen Turner. I learned how to relax into my lower register. I like way up here. How, <laughs> what? I don't know. Oh. Well, that's back when I had more hair and it was dark. No, but at the time. It's still as handsome as oh, ever. Oh, well, thank you. Absolutely thank you, as handsome. So, anyway, Todd Summers, um, you were going to tell me because you have been frequenting a really cool joint downtown mm -hmm. that I understand is not new, but doing some really cool stuff. Yeah, well, for starters, Every Wednesday night, we've been going down to the Galvin Center for jazz. It's free jazz concerts put on by excellence in the community. Mm -hmm. um, it's fantastic. And we really have some talented jazz musicians. I bet. These young kids mm -hmm. that you just you don't hear anything about. And they come out of the woodwork. And they're up there in front of you playing Coltrane and uh -huh. Miles Davis. And so after the jazz, we a bunch of us went down uh, Main Street mm -hmm. to this place. And it's called Bodega. Okay. And you walk into it, and it's just this tiny room. But if you talk to the person there and you say, I'd like to see the rest. Oh. And they take you downstairs to this speakeasy. Ooh. And it is so cool. It's called The Rest. Okay. So if I'd you like get a to chance, see The Rest. Yes. Oh. It's really cool. It's one of those things that you think, well, this is in Salt Lake City? Yeah. And it is. It's There are a lot of cool places on Main Street these days. So what does the rest specialize in? Mostly cocktails uh, mm -hmm. they have down there. There are seven tables is mm -hmm. all, and then a bar. Mm -hmm. But it's dimly lit, and it's like something that... You know, out of uh, out of a 1940s film noir. Right. So I loved it. it do they cool. have food? Yes, they do. So food and I haven't tried the food, but I'm sure it's great. Yeah. yeah. Do they do music or anything or just hang out? Just hang out. So after jazz night, head over to Bodega and mm. be sure and say... Can I see the rest? And tell them Todd sent you. Yeah. I'm so excited. We're going to go next week, so I'll get to give you a full report. Yeah. All right. Well, don't go anywhere because coming up next, we are going to be talking wellness. You're not going to want to miss it. Attention, if you owe money to the IRS, they're cracking down by garnishing paychecks and seizing assets. Don't let tax debt destroy your life. Call Optima Tax Relief. They're experts in the Fresh Start Initiative, a special IRS program that could save you thousands if you qualify. Optima's resolved over $1 billion of tax debt for their clients and will fight to get you the best deal possible. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-297-5963. Optima Tax Relief. Talk 365 TV's Wellness Minute is brought to you by Certified Hypnotherapy Training School. Welcome back. I'm here uh, with Holly. Todd Summers is my name. And being on this show mm -hmm. is my game. It's true. Uh, we're going to be uh, having a little wellness news you can use right now. Okay. Are you ready for it? I can use all the wellness news that you can give me. And use? And use. So I have a question for you. Okay. Um, have you read... 
uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I have not. Have you heard of it? Yes. Okay, so obviously a big time impacting a whole generation of people during the depression. And he started out with Carnegie when he was still in school. Carnegie gave him a challenge to go and interview successful people and see why they're successful, why it's different. Mm -hmm. And the, the book, Think and Grow Rich, came from that initial conversation he had with Carnegie. And have you heard of his second book, which was called Outwitting the Devil? No. So now this book was one that his wife would not allow him to publish. And back to that original interview that he had with Carnegie, basically he told him what's going to happen is you're going to meet your other self, what nowadays people call like your higher self. Mm. Listen to that voice inside of you. And pretty much what happened is he went through his life and he had all of these peak ups and downs. And then he finally, in one of the lows, he actually had an interview with what he calls the devil or what we would call subconscious. So he interviews that subconscious mind that is just running amok to tear you down. And he, he proposes the theory that all men are born with two versions of yourself. The one that absolutely knows there is absolutely no limit to what you accomplish. And there's the subconscious one that is the one that is constantly trying to bring you down. So anyway, it is a great read and it is a great listen that is all over YouTube for free. So speaking of the subconscious mind, we are talking hypnotherapy with some of the students of Certified Hypnotherapy Training School, which we have been working with Dennis for like the past six years. Yeah. I know I've talked about him a lot. Have you looked in or heard anything about hypnotherapy recently? I know a couple of people that have gone out and studied it and now have their certificate, Sean Fay. Oh, wow, I, I didn't Sean, know yeah, that, okay. Yeah, Sean just did it recently. And it's just, it's amazing the things that they're accomplishing with it. Well, it's because it's like the science mm -hmm. of demystifying the mind. It's like, this is how the mind works. And so it demystifies this idea that we're not in control. Yeah. So we've talked to a lot of students over the years and we had a chance to interview this cute Peyton who is a senior in high school and she's already certified mm -hmm. and she is doing it so she can put herself through school. She's interested in becoming a psychologist and wants to be able to do both. So she's building her clientele while she's going to school. She's already got this. Really cool idea. Another guy, John, that we had a chance to chat with. He is retired. He was a youth corrections officer. And if you don't believe me, check out Tony, who will tell you all about her experience and why she is certifying at the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School. Talk 365 TV's Wellness Minute is brought to you by Certified Hypnotherapy Training School. Hey everybody, I'm Holly Love and I have your Talk 365 Wellness Minute. Today I'm at the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School and we are going to be talking with some students about why they want to become certified hypnotherapists. Hi, my name's Tony. I'm 41 years old. I'm a wife and mother to eight children. About three years ago I came down with a really strange illness and for about a year and a half I was quite sick. A lot of neurological issues ended up uh, going to many different doctors and all over the place looking to find relief from my symptoms. I happened to come across W. Dennis Parker who is the founder and owner of Certified Hypnotherapy Training School and Positive Mind Management and uh, became a client of his and in a very few short months I was back in control. Um, I had relief from my symptoms, I was feeling amazing, I had my life back and it was at that moment that I decided that I was going to become a student of Certified Hypnotherapy Training School, also known as CHTS. Um, CHTS is wonderful, Dennis is an amazing instructor and one of the things that drew me to the schooling um, was that it's extremely legitimate. Um, when students leave Certified Hypnotherapy Training School, they leave as a Certified Clinical Hypnotherapist through ACHE. ACHE is American Council of Hypnotist Examiners. That certification is actually recognized in all 50 states, 20 countries, um, and it qualifies us to be eligible for malpractice insurance, just like a therapist, a psychologist, it's absolutely amazing. And now I am currently practicing in South Jordan, Utah. Um, I love helping my clients. I love to watch how their lives transform. I'm making a good living. I'm also able to, I mean really anyone who, who wants to do this, um, come on down to the school. Look at the website, certifiedhypnotherapytrainingschool.com. Um, 
contact us. I now work here at Certified Hypnotherapy Training. Uh, this has become my life's mission. I decided once I got well that I was going to pay it forward for the rest of my life. I'm Holly Love and that's our Talk 365 Wellness Minute. Or something close to it. Enroll now. Classes start soon. For the time of your life, watch Talk 365 TV every weekday on Utah CW30 or anytime online. Talk 365 TV's Talking Wellness is brought to you by Brain Rehab Clinic. Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Holly Love and that is Todd Summers. Hi everybody. And we have a Talking Wellness series that we have been doing on brain function with Dr. Hatch down at the Brain Rehab Clinic. And I got to go down this time and we are talking about functional neurology and the aging brain, which is such a hot topic. Yeah. Well, it's been interesting for me. I'm 56. Mm -hmm. um, you start to notice along uh -huh. the way, you know, as you, as you age, the differences and and for me, it's really kind of come in the last six years. Okay. I'll, I'll get up to go do something mm -hmm. in another room. I'll get in that room and forget why I got up. Which I think that happens to me. Yeah. And I, it doesn't really matter any age, but it's, yeah. it happens, right? Right. And, but it, it kind of scares me a little bit. Because uh -huh. I start to think, well, geez, am I... Am I is know, this how it's going to be? Yeah, is this going to... You know, am I going to forget everything from now on? But... Um, so this Dr. Hatch, just he's, a, he's an amazing guy. So it was really fun to talk about the aging brain because functional neurology is a field that is just changing every day and Dr. Hatch and the Brain Rehab Clinic has their finger on the pulse of it. Mm. They are on top of whatever the next next is, the latest technology, the latest equipment, how to get brain function happening in places that it was dead no matter what age you are. So if you've had a brain injury, they can get your brain firing and wiring in places that using different technologies, different testing to know if it's working and what's working because a lot of it has to do with the fact that if your brain isn't functioning right your medication isn't going to work you're it's like having a broken arm and then wondering why you can't throw something mm -hmm. right yeah you know it's the same thing if you've been in therapy for a long time and it seems to not be working if you have spells with vertigo and you're aging and you've maybe had a stroke and you just are really struggling you've done all the rehab they can rehab the brain mm -hmm. and it will actually it won't reconnect but from neuroplasticity testing the brain is so plastic it will route around the dead part and reconnect in another yeah, way. That's amazing. Like you can ultimately be back to one. And for seniors too that are struggling and think that this is just all that you have and this is how life will be, kind of like what you were thinking, mm -hmm. that's not the case. So you're gonna love this segment. Here is Dr. Hatch in our Talking Wellness series on brain function. Talk 365 TV's Talking Wellness is brought to you by Brain Rehab Clinic with wellness team expert, Dr. John Hatch. Hey everybody, I'm Holly Love and welcome to our Talking Wellness series on brain function. Today I am back at the Brain Rehab Clinic with Dr. Hatch. Hi, how Hello. are you? Thank you for having me. I always love coming down here and talking functional neurology with you. And today we are going to be talking specifically about functional neurology and the aging brain, which Let's be honest, there is so much conversation about how to up-level your life yep. through up-leveling your brain. There's hacks every day on YouTube, a new person who has a new idea and ways to be able to turn back the clock. I mean, this is some seriously hot topics oh, here. Yeah. Yep. And what I love about you is you don't just have hacks, you have the testing, you have the research, so you have all the skills and tools to do it. So let's talk the aging brain advancements. What, what are you most excited about and what is new for them and us looking forward for aging? Yeah, just the simplicity of how plastic a brain is, how much it can change and shift has been the most exciting thing for me to study aging brains, whether it's an Alzheimer's patient or a dementia patient or someone whose balance has gotten really bad or a lot of times we think, well, once we lost it, it's gone forever. Well, it's not. Mm -hmm. The pathways are still there. Some of them have neurodegeneration but we can still make new connections and the diagnostic tools today can tell us even better where the breakdown is versus just seeing it on an MRI. That means that 70% of the degeneration has already occurred if you're seeing anything on an mm. MRI. Well, that's not good odds. I don't wanna <laughs> wait till I see it there. I wanna see it right away. The moment it starts happening and start changing it, improve the brain and get the quality of life. I mean, I wanna be 90, 80 years old 
still jiving, still smiling, still having joy in life, mm -hmm. not feeling like, oh no, I'm getting old, I'm just gonna stop. Yeah, well I think that's the conversation that everybody is wanting to have and the solutions that they wanna hear, that there are solutions, number one, and that there are ways to be able to do this. I think from following people like Gary Vee, more and more people are saying don't just go away in your 60s. What are you thinking? You have this computer, you have this wealth of knowledge, like go contribute in yep. the world yep. and get out there. You have so much to bring to the table and trust me, if a six-year-old can learn to do Snapchat, so can you. Yes. Don't let this stuff intimidate yep. you. But a lot of the intimidation comes from brain dysfunction yep. and it's all stuff you treat. So let's talk about your diagnostic equipment because okay. I think that is key to helping someone understand why this is so unique and so different and why you get the results you get. Yes, like one of the new tests that we've been working on is just looking at timing and temporal lobes and coordination. That's high executive function of the brain. So if we're seeing early onsets of Alzheimer's or dementia, we're gonna see it in their timing sequence. And it's amazing that I've had concert pianists in here that are like, I should be able to do this perfect. Well, their brain hasn't been working as well, so they can't hit that executive function again. And then we create plans and rehab to change that aspect of the brain, and then we can post-check and see how much it's improved. Because a lot of times people say, well, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> yes, you can. It just, it takes longer to uh -huh. learn the trick but you can learn the trick. And then we also have another diagnostic tool called Cogniview, and it's one of the FDA registered companies that really show if your brain is impaired. They actually have a guideline that has over 100 tests, so you never do the same test, you can't memorize it. So you can see where are you at cognitively, and then through the therapy and rehab, we can check post. We had a patient in last week that literally scored a subnormal cognitive function and at the end of the week she was already at high executive cognitive function just by doing different brain pathways and wow. that was a new game changer for this individual and we love that I mean, that's what it's about another piece of equipment we've been just using lately is the laser with photo biomodulation the research out there the tech that's out there is incredible and it helps improve actual tissue mm. so it gets functionality to a tissue that might be dead because it hasn't been activated. So just going in and activating it like we used to didn't really work. The whole, if you don't use it, you lose it. Mm -hmm. Well, that doesn't always work if the system itself isn't working. Mm -hmm. So using laser therapy and then the brain therapy can connect things that weren't being able to connect before. Wow, well, and talk gyrostem because that's oh, another huge, yes. you're like one of a few in the United yes. States, yep. clinics that have the gyrostem and it is such, a key piece if somebody has vertigo, PTSD, a lot of issues yep. that seniors and, and everybody face and they, they think it's just a life sentence. Oh yeah, and the, the amazing thing is, is the vestibular system, your inner ear, the balance system, it taps out at 40 years old. That's why mm -hmm. most athletes don't progress past 40 years old. Once you hit 40, you can only get as good as that vestibular balance system was. The rest of the league and the career all go up, but you hit 40 and it just plateaus. So as we get older, we start to see our balance get worse, we stop using it and it declines even faster. So what we can do is we can put them in a gyro stem and actually do these different exercises where a gyro stem can rehab the pathway, activate the canals, activate the system, and reconnect it and get the brain to adapt correctly and then you have a whole new outcome it's incredible yeah the changes we've seen with people the, the, the way they walk their posture people always talk about posture just because you're old you do not have to be like this no. that is a brain function well you've said before the brain doesn't care about the rest of your body it's the ultimate survival tool in the whole mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. and it overrides everything so if it needs to be hunched over bent in an arm like this to feel good and feel balanced because it's so damaged yep. that's how you're going to be and it has nothing to do with your actual Shoulder muscles yep. or your bones or that you're you know low in calcium it's yep. like it's amazing because i've seen it through my treatment program where things have changed literally just like that. So let's talk about the types of things people are coming in here that you're able to alleviate symptoms of mm -hmm. through these different treatments, through the diagnostics, especially for seniors. Yeah, especially memory. I mean, a lot of the seniors, they're, they're okay giving up their shoulder rotation or their shoulder mobility if they can recall where they're at, where mm -hmm. they're going. Well, especially when they walk into a room and you're like, why did I walk in here? That's not necessarily a cognitive memory thing. It's actually a spatial memory thing. So it's actually a parietal lobe imbalance with the cerebellum that regulates where we are in space. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of our balance stuff, you can know, hey, my balance isn't doing well. When you walk into a room, 
and you don't remember why you went in there. It's actually not a necessarily a memory response. And so these different things of knowing where I am in space, knowing why I walked in the room, where did I put my keys, these are things that can stay active. You can recall your grandson's name. You can recall why you went this place or where you went. And as a young person, I yeah. want to prevent it so yeah. I can have the highest quality of brain until the day we leave this earth. Uh -huh. But more importantly, for my grandparents or my parents, I don't want to worry about them. They're getting in the car, they're driving. That's scary. Mm -hmm. But if I got their brain working, they can drive all they want. And a lot of people, they come in and say, I've lost my license mm -hmm. because of this. Or I'm really scared because once you hit that I'm not remembering, the emotional side of this to the elderly is so dramatic mm -hmm. and it makes them feel like I've lost all hope and this is the beginning of the end. Mm -hmm. And they, they just shut down instead of being excited. Yeah. It creates even almost sometimes a bigger emotional problem than when they were young dealing with all the stress of life. Well, let's talk about mental health and anxiety and depression. We have an incredible online training you can get on his website where he dives deep into explaining functional neurology's approach to that. So I highly recommend you check that out because there are things that you can do to simply hack that. You see results for people who are in the depths of depression. Mm -hmm. Like you're saying at that place where they're just like, they think it's over, they have tried everything and they come back from doing treatment and testing with you. And get some change and then it always takes time. It always takes three to five months to change that brain but they can start to see symptoms change. They can start to see it because the tests show it. Mm -hmm. And then that gives them hope and then as long as they stay consistent, it will change. I want to say like, you know, what exactly do people need to be suffering in that I know the conversation and the answer to the question is, it doesn't matter what you're suffering with because if your brain is not functioning correctly, all of the symptoms that you're feeling will be justified. Mm -hmm. And when you sit down with this guy, he will sit up there with the whole test in front of you and explain to you everything you're feeling that every other doctor you've been to has told you you're crazy and they don't really know what to do with you. Well, and the thing about memory that really is the trigger in this aging brain, because when memory goes, they don't want to do anything. There's four areas of the brain that are involved in memory. So you can't treat one. What if the memory problem is over here? So you have to be really careful of creating a plan for someone in their elderly years, what is gonna maximize their potential. Mm -hmm. And so we're taking supplements, we're taking pills, we're taking everything to stay young, but what are we doing for our actual brain function? That's where I feel this big missing link, this missing hole that can take a brain to another level so the supplement can actually work, so mm -hmm. the medication can actually work, like we've spoken many times before. Yeah. But get the brain to work so it's alive and functioning. And if you use it, you don't lose it. And even in the elderly, we start to feel more anxiety. And it's specifically because the cerebellum starts to degenerate. Mm. And when the cerebellum starts to dysfunction, we have less sleep, we're more irritable, right? Grandpa's short temper, so to speak, mm. right? And these things happen because of the brain, not because that's who they are. Yeah, can we bring it back? Usually, if the pathways are still alive and still viable, you can make great changes. So what age should you start looking into brain rehabilitation? From an aging brain standpoint, I love the age 40 because that's the vestibular balance. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, I started eight years ago because yep. I want to keep my brain as young as I possibly can. But 50 is the ideal window to say, hey, let's keep this brain going. But I have seen patients in their 90s that still want to improve their brain. Mm -hmm. You can change it at any time. The sooner you change it, the better the outcome. Because you can't regrow a part of the brain that's not there. Mm -hmm. It's there, gone, it's gone. But you can make new connections so you can actually feel like you're mm -hmm. 10 years younger. Your brain probably isn't, but the functionality of life is. And that's the joy in brain rehabilitation. That is amazing. And the thing with what you do here, again, you have the testing and the diagnostic equipment mm -hmm. that you can see week to week, month to month, the progress, and you can tell people this will work because you have the proof to show that it does. Yep. And if it isn't going to work, we're going to see it as well. And you're going to know. Not, it's, yeah. it's not like, okay, we got to do this for the next three months and hope it's going to work. Yeah. By the end of a week, I can know if I'm going to help a brain or not help a brain. If you are someone who is aging, if you are someone who is suffering with a condition that you feel like you've tried everything, or if you're a person who just wants to up-level their life this year, 
get into Brain Rehab Clinic and do the testing and they will figure out exactly what you need to be better, faster, stronger in every aspect of your life. Dr. Hatch, thank you so much. You're welcome. I love chatting brain with you. Be sure and join us again because we will be talking more through this series about the brain. You can always find more information on his website, including online trainings and initial consultations where you can pretty much learn everything you want to know before you come in here or while you're coming in here and then get in here and obviously take the opportunity to utilize all of the knowledge and skill that he brings to the table as well as the equipment and this incredible facility at Brain Rehab Clinic. So thank, thank you. you again for your time. Appreciate it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on Talk 365 TV right after this. Brain Rehab Clinic is proud to announce that they're the first clinic in Utah to have on site the gyro stem. Holly, if you smell smoke, it's because my brain is working overtime. I thought you were going to say mine is. Oh no, it's me, believe me. <laughs> uh, trying to wrap my brain around everything we talked about today. It's a lot, right? Yeah, the stuff from Dr. Hatch, the Napoleon Hill stuff that you were talking about. And it, it is, you're right, it's very encouraging, uh -huh. no matter how old you are, to be able to look forward and know that with all the new technologies and the procedures and stuff out there, mm -hmm. that you know you can get rewired, you can keep growing, yeah. you know, no matter your age. What he was saying about being 40, and it, so if you're under 40, it makes you want to get in there because, hello, make sure to keep your brain before it starts to make that transition. But if you're over 40, it's like, what the heck are you doing? Get in there because your brain has transitioned and you got to get in there and get that fixed up. And I think the combination of all of it that I think is the coolest between Dr. Hatch and Dennis at the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School mm -hmm. is that what I learned is it's never just one thing. So it's like if you are doing the therapy and it's not working, it might be because your brain functioned. Were you ever in a car accident? Did you ever injure your brain? Did you play football or a sport when you were younger and hit it really hard mm -hmm. because the effect can last for 30 years later. It, it takes a long time to heal. And a lot of times Dr. Hatch sends his patients to see Dennis because he's been able to get the brain functioning right. And now that brain is primed and ready for the therapy and the positive thinking and the Napoleon Hill stuff. It's yeah. like you can take it in now and you mm -hmm. can hear it. Um, you know, there's a time in my life I know when I would hear like a Tony Robbins something and I was in a hard, going through a hard time. And I mean, I'd want to throw something at the TV or whatever was telling me to just smile because, <laughs> you know, there's that point where you're like, I, if it was just smiling, I would, I would be on that. But I think from the standpoint of even athletics, what's super fun mm -hmm. is that idea of are some of these guys who are still playing football, all the Patriots, Mr. Handsome. Right. Is, Tom Brady. Yes. And like Peyton, right? Ma mm -hmm. Is Peyton, Peyton Manning, Manning, he played over his 40s, right? Um, I think he was close. He may have played till he was 40. It makes you kind of wonder, were they doing some of this stuff because they've had such right. long careers in an industry that should be even setting them back right. further and stuff like that. So if you're into sports too, oh my goodness, yeah. this should be so much your jam. But right. yeah, for just the general person to know ways, that's why I wake up in the day to right. know these things. I have a good job, right? Yeah, you do. You, you have should a come join me more. Job. Yeah, I, I'd like to. Okay. I'm going to take notes. Oh, <laughs> please so don't. So i remember this stuff. Just come have fun with me. We'll do it again. Okay. So, okay, well, watch for Todd in our Talking Movie series. It's on YouTube and join us on Facebook as well. For that, we'll be doing giveaways and fun things and and then in the meantime, thank you so much for being yeah, here. Thanks for having me. Have a wonderful day, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow. See ya.